School experts are suggesting parents think twice before posting pictures and videos of their children on social media. They say families should have a plan in place to protect their privacy. Local 15 web content specialist Taryn Reed joins us with more. Taryn? Well, I may not have any children of my own, but I do have two extremely adorable nieces, so I consider this when posting photos of them. We're definitely in the Internet age. You want to share every tidbit of information about your kids, whether it's their first steps or words, or they scored a good grade on a test you've been helping them study for. But experts say be careful sharing the private information. Instead, create a plan within your household, a strategy for what's appropriate to post. For instance, it may be best to have a blanket policy, no sharing pictures or videos of their children on Online, period. For others, it could be about a middle ground, posting some photos but being cautious about which ones. Once you have a plan in place, check your privacy settings on social media. Then it's all about leading by example. Teach your kids how to be careful online. So we asked you, do you have a social media strategy in your household? Eva says, I only post on Facebook and only my friends and family can see it. Barbie doesn't have a plan. She says, I don't. It's my way of keeping distant family up to date on her growth. You can still share your comments. Just search for Local 15 News on Facebook. Okay, so do you have a plan in place? Oh, I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I post, I don't post anything inappropriate. I mean, it's, right. it's really like, the latest one I posted was a video of my niece dancing in the shoe store, right, you know. Right, but, but so, I'm the same way. I, I don't have any kind of plan in place yeah. for my kids either. So, uh, you know, maybe it's something to think about. Right. Hmm, okay. All right. Thanks, Sarah.